Is it living or non-living? Just listened to or read a section of this book. So what we're going to learn today for our learning goal is how can we find the main topic of a text and three key details while learning about living and non-living things. Let's get started. Is it a living thing? What is a living thing? Plants are living things, animals are living things, people are living things. Living things grow and change, they move. These dolphins are leaping out of water. Are dolphins plants or animals? Living things need air, water, and food. And most living things also need sunshine. Name all the living things you see on these pages. Well, let me answer that question. I see some dolphins and those are animals, so those are living. I see a frog or a toad and he's an animal, so he's living. I see this big tall mushroom and a mushroom's a plant and plants are living things. And then I see this boy here who's eating a yummy sandwich. Well, and humans are living. And finally, I see these pretty flowers. And we know by now that plants and flowers are living. What I want to figure out as I read this text was what is the main topic? And when we ask ourselves what the main topic is, we usually think about what is the text mostly about? And when I try to do that, I look to see if any words keep repeating over and over again as I read. And you know what I found? I found there were a few words that kept repeating. And I'm going to show you those as I circle them in green. Living thing, living thing, living things, living things, and living things, and living things. So I know that the main topic of this text is all about living things. Now I don't stop there because what good readers do is they find some key details that they learned about that main topic. And so what did I learn about living things? Well, my first detail I learned was that plants are living things, animals are living things, and people are living things. That's an important detail. The next detail I learned was that living things grow and change and they move. That's an important fact. And finally, last, another key detail that I learned was that living things need air, water, and food, and most living things also need sunshine. So I'm going to take what I learned and I'm going to fill it in in my main topic key detail organizer. And we've seen this before. This is where the main topic goes. And we just found out that the main topic of the text was living things. Those were the words that kept repeating. My first detail that I learned was that plants, animals, and people are living things. The second detail I underlined was that living things grow, change, and move. And finally, I learned that Living things need air, water, sunshine, and food. And so that's how I find the main topic and key details of a text. And we're going to try it one more time together. This time we're going to read a section called non-living things. And let's remember, as I'm reading, I want you thinking about are there any words that are repeating over and over again? That usually helps me identify or tell the main topic of the text. Here I go. Non-living things. Air, water, sunshine, soil, and rocks are non-living things. These things are not made of cells. Non-living things are very important to living things. Living things could not stay alive without them. Caption, sea stars live among rocks and oceans. Sea stars are living things. Rocks are non-living things. So as I reflect and think back on what I just read, are there any words that keep repeating? Yep, I found some. Let's see if you agreed with mine. Non-living things, non-living things, non-living things. A lot of times good readers use the heading to help figure out what that section is going to be about. And in this particular case, it worked. This section was about non-living things. Now, what key details did I learn about non-living things? Let's see, hmm, oh, 
Well, air, water, sunshine, soil, and rocks are non-living things. Those are examples of non-living things. I learned that these things are not made of cells. Boys and girls, cells are what make up living things. That's how we know something is living. So if it doesn't have cells, then it's non-living. And finally, non-living things are very important to living things. They depend on each other. So those are the three key details that I learned. Let's fill in our organizer. My main topic I found was non-living things. And what did I learn about non-living things? That non-living things are important to living things. I learned that non-living things are not made up of cells. And finally, the air, water, sunshine, rocks, and soil are non-living things. I learned examples. I hope you learned a lot about how you can find the main topic and key details of a text.